Oh yeah! Oh boy! Oh 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 boy! Hello everyone, it's Brubank Crash here. You can call me Crash for short. Today we're back playing. No, wait, we're not back playing anything. This is the first time we've played it. We're playing Scrap Mechanic. Yes, I've been waiting to play this game for a really long time. I hope you guys enjoy this new series. I have a feeling it's going to replace the Minecraft series because I think we're going to have a little bit more fun with this. And uh, I hope that shows in the uh, types of buildings. Anyways, I'm thinking we're going to do some crazy contraptions. That's right. We're going to build crazy contraptions and we're going to go nuts with all the physics of this game. So if you haven't heard about Scrap Mechanic, it's basically a... It's going to be a um, a simulator. Well, what is it going to be? It's a survival. It's going to be a survival game eventually. But basically, it's a physics survival game. So everything you have in the world has physics on it. So what we're going to do today, I think, it's just fitting because everybody seems to start with a car when they build this. So that's what I'm thinking. We're going to build a car. So I'm just going to look at what kind of parts we have. So there's all these different materials, and they all weigh different things. And I don't know, I'm not sure what we want to start with, but I want to start with something cool looking. And, I don't know, steel pallet. Let's start with a steel pallet. That kind of looks interesting. So we can rotate things around. So that's perfect, we're going to make it flush like that. And that's kind of neat. So we got a pallet like that, and then what you can do is you can put a driver's seat on the pallet. Is it going to be centered, or is it, is it, can we make it centered? Oh, we can't. Okay, so that thing is not quite, what if we went this way? Can we center it this way? Yeah, okay, so there we go. So maybe we're gonna put a couple pallets. So let's see, we'll put it like, let's grab another pallet and let's rotate it around and rotate it around and rotate it around. We want it facing the right way. Come on, we're hitting Q right now to rotate it and let's get it lined up in the right spot. So we're gonna put two metal pallets together like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab this thing and we're gonna grab this and I guess we'll just put it up like that for now. Okay, up front. We need an engine, because the car needs an engine, right? So let's look at the back here like this. And let's give it a little bit of space. Put the engine right there. We have to connect things together. So there's this tool, it's a connector tool. And basically what you do is you connect the seat to the engine like that. And when it dis and now we can actually control the engine from the seat. We're gonna change it, give it a little bit of gas. That's gonna be how fast the engine turns. So the next thing is we have this jack here, which I had already placed on the ground, and you can push up and down to make things go up and down, which is really cool to help you be able to see underneath. Okay, so in the front, in the front, I feel like I want to get some good steering. So let's grab this, and let's grab that, and we're gonna see if we can, yeah, okay, that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna go out. We need to get our wheels out front. Let's do that like that and like that okay that looks pretty good and then up here let's see can we do something with this what kind of beep Oop, don't do that and also you can delete things as you want so one of the cool things is there's no resources yet but eventually there will be so let's do that let's just build this bar out like this and we're gonna build out a little bit now okay i gotta think about this we're gonna need a turning block so if we go up like this and we go up like this and then what we're gonna want is we're gonna need some shocks. So let me just do this and that. That's gonna be the for the front. So I wanna put the wheels right here, but we also, we need to make them turn. So you have things called bearings and they, they basically allow things to freely rotate or it also allows you to connect the power to them. And you also need, you also have things like shocks and I think we'll make this an all-terrain crazy contraption. So let's grab, Hmm, let's grab this guy and let's put that there and I want some shocks Let's grab the all-terrain shocks which are here and maybe we'll grab the big tires. Yeah, the big tires That's gonna be fun. All right, let's do this And like this is that right? Okay, perfect Okay, so now we got to rotate this down facing down and I'm gonna put okay next thing Here's a good example of when you can use the lift so up goes the lift now I can get underneath it and I'm gonna put the shock in like that. But, yeah, is that right? Nope, that's not right. We need to be able to turn it. That's the front steering. So we need to put in a bearing. We're gonna put a bearing there. I don't think you can see, yeah, that's something you can't do. You can't attach a thing to that. Sure, let's get, I think what I want is a short piece of pipe that's round. What's this? Small tank, don't need that. Nope, where's that short pipe? Give me the short one. There it is. I'm just looking the wrong spot. So let's see. What do I don't? I don't need an engine anymore. So let's put that there. There we go. 
And now that can rotate. Then we can attach the shock to that. And down here, we can attach one of these guys. Let's see, can we get to face the right direction? Okay, that's the right, nope, that's the wrong way. Let's do it this way. Uh, and like that. Nope, that's still the wrong way. It's so hard to see. Okay, let's see. Can we get it on there? Can we get it on? Let's move this up a little bit. It's a little too hard to to see. Okay, there we go. Q, 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 Q. There we go. Now it's facing the right way. Then we're going to toss a bearing on the outside. And then we're going to toss a big wheel like that. Sweet. Okay, so now that thing can rotate freely. And it also has shocks. So that's pretty amazing. I should do both at the same time. Um, but, uh, yeah. So on this side, let's bring this down like this. Okay. Now we just need to emulate what we just did. So we'll do that by placing this all the way around like that. And then one more time down. And then we'll do the shocks there. But before we do that, I'm going to get in the back here. And I'm going to... Hmm. Maybe we can go with a staircase baluster, steel like short railing. Let's do this one. Let's see what this one... That's a little bit better. That's a little shorter. So we'll go there and we'll go there. And then we'll take this guy and we're going to rotate it around like that. Perfect. Like so. And is that centered? Okay, so now we're going to have to do the same thing here. We're going to rotate this up like this. And these are going to be our drive wheels. All right. And then I'm going to do for decoration, we're going to do this and that. Okay, so now we have that set up. And so we should put these on top of here. Let's rotate that around and get that set. And that set. And over here, do the same thing. And one more time down like so. Okay, so now we've got the rear. So we can lift this up. We don't need bearings on this guy. So we're just gonna attach the shock absorbers right to our strut. And then down here, we're gonna take this piece and we don't need any, nope, sorry, that's the wrong one. We don't, oh wait, no, 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 no. We actually have to, no, we need to put in a spacer. Otherwise we'll be riding, um, Riding too too low in the back. My apologies. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to get this sucker in here like that. Perfect. And then like that. Oh, no. Come on. Get in there. Sweet. Now down here, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the bend. To rotate that around. And we're going to put a bearing on there. And we're going to put a wheel on there. Okay. So now that's free spinning, but it doesn't rotate. And then back here, we're going to do the same thing. Except... Like that. Oh, nope, nope, wrong way. Q, 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 Q. I can't see. I can't see. Is that the right way? Perfect. And there, and a wheel. Okay. Now, so we've got our setup for that side. Here we have to put the bearing back in as well. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to put a piece of pipe. And then we're going to put our other shock absorber. And then another bend in the pipe. And then a bearing. And a tire. Okay, so now... We've got our vehicle. So let's uh, let's uh, get rid of this. Boing! So you can see that's all shock absorbed and working nicely. So next thing we have to do is we actually have to connect everything to the wheel. So uh, let's connect this to the engine. That's spinning in the right direction. You can see these uh, arrows showing that it's doing so. Let's connect this one, but it's, it's going the wrong way. So we need to just right click to change that. And then we're gonna not drive the front. We'll make this rear wheel drive for now. And then we're gonna, nope, that's incorrect. We don't want that, we don't want that. <laughs> we want this. Those are gonna be free spinning, but we need to change the bearings. And let's see, I have a feeling that's backwards. If I remember correctly, it always is. So we'll rotate like that. So now we've connected everything up. We've got our steering and we've got our power. So let's get on board our thing. And we should, you can hear the motor spun up. We should give it some gas. Oh yeah, so here we go, we're turning, we're going. Nice. So we're moving along at a very slow speed, but everything seems to be working well. We take a turn and our shock absorbers are working and we're leaning into stuff nice and neat. Okay, so you know what? This is too slow for me. This is crazy contraptions. We need to go way faster. A mm, little bit here. No, nope. all the way. Take it to the max, man. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 boy. Oh, oh, flip, flip. We did it. Yes, yes. Nailed it. Whoa, whoa. Another flip. Okay. Whew. Maybe this is a little too much horsepower. 
Nah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Over, over. Ah. Okay, now we're stuck. Okay, so when you get stuck like this, guess what you can do? Like this, and we just pick it up and we place it down somewhere safe. And then we just get rid of it and boing, back we go. So, we've already kind of encountered a few little problems. So, we know that when you gas it up, it really, really puts a lot of torque on the back and it slides around a lot. So, it's, we're having a hard time just even keeping it straight. It won't even stay straight. So, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, what should we do? What can we do to make this a little bit better? I guess we can make one side wider. That's always possible. So we could extend this. Uh, and we could extend that pretty easily by just simply going like this. So let's do this. And we'll put... Uh, let's get some tubes. That's not a great way to do it. I want to do it up here, but we'll do it down here for now. So if I take this and I go like this. So we'll go up three and then we add the wheel back in. I shouldn't have to do anything. Everything should still be connected the way it was. So we shouldn't have to do any mechanics. Like one, two, three. And then let's put the wheel on the outside like this. Wait, I have to put a bearing. No, I don't have to put a bearing. There's a bearing on the inside. There you go, nice. Okay, so if we get rid of this and we jump on here, how are we doing? Oh yeah, we're still driving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's see if we can turn now. Oh yeah, we're a little bit more stable, actually. We're a lot, a lot more stable. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh no, ow, my head. Okay, so, problem. <laughs> let's see, put it over here. Let's get rid of it. Nice, well, it works. I mean, it's, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> All right. So that definitely helped in the stability department. Let's um, let's go over here and let's try this out again. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a jump right there. Sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Okay, let's just let's just bring this pony down a little bit. All right, a little little bit more tame. A little bit less horsepower. Nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a little bit easier to drive. Let's see if we can go for a little bit. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Actually, widening our front steering would help too. Okay, this is good. You know what? I feel like we're we're in we're not in such a, a safe place. Being what? Not in such a what? <laughs> I feel like we need to build something a little bit more sturdy. So um, let's um, let's see if. It follows more of the rules of physics. So what we're gonna do is let me let me see here. And let's oh can we pillar up? <laughs> let's pillar up. There we go. Nice. And let's jump. Oh, stay on it. Oh, okay. Up and then up. <laughs> okay, let's make a bigger platform. Up, up, it up, up. Nice. Okay, now we got a platform. A little bit to stand on. Let's get up there. Up we go. All right, and uh, can we get up? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So what I'm thinking we do now is let's build ourselves a roll cage. Our crazy contraption has got to have a roll cage. So we'll do that. And we'll do this. And we'll put one in the back like this, and like that, and like that. And then we can do these U bends. Hmm. I don't think we do. 45 so let's do this nope not like that like that all right like that and how about you are you gonna face the right way sweet nice okay so then we can put these guys like that and like that oh i wonder if there's there's a t-join too i think let me see there's a t-join right yeah oh that's gonna be sweet how big is that t-join uh-huh like that and let's turn that all the way around like this noise oh this is gonna be sweet man i'm liking this already there we go and nope like this and i think actually that's probably we're gonna have to do that uh 
I guess we're gonna be a little off centered. That's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. I guess we can just do this though, right? Mink, mink, and nice. Okay, let's use that. Okay, so we've got our roll cage going. Nice, some some roll cage action. Let's do this. This is gonna make us more top heavy. Okay, let's flip. Woo! Oh. Mm. Well, I feel like a turtle all of a sudden. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. It's starting to look like something interesting. Let's place that. Let's get that down. Huh. Yeah. I guess we could, like, make things a little sharper, but... Okay. So that's that. I guess I. the only thing I would probably change... Let's just, let's just place this on the lift. I think, I feel like just even a moderate amount more uh, depth right here, just one, is probably gonna help with our steering just a little bit. So let's do that. Uh, no, not that. Uh, let's do, not that one, that one. There we go. And like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, let's check out our, what other stuff do we have in here that looks cool? Yeah, that's kind of neat looking. Can we do? Can we put that on top of our? Um, let's see. Can we put that on top of the engine? Make it look cool. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay, let's get up in there. Use, off, and don't spit us too far out now. There we go. Can we put that on top? Uh, no. But can we put it on the side? Oh, we can. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. Like so. Oh yeah, it makes it look beefy. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Let's do this. Oh yeah, the steering's are oh yeah, it feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit more stable. Yeah. Keeps us on the ground a little bit. Oh still if we have too much of a tight turn, we're gonna have to be we're gonna flip. That's okay. Alright, you know what? I'm digging this thing. I'm digging this thing. This is a this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty pretty darn cool. Oh, a little bit of lag. I like that a lot. Alright. Well guys. I think that's going to be it for our first episode ever of Scrap Mechanic. I hope you enjoyed our very first car. I think it's how you have to start the game off. So if you do like this video, bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button and toss me some comments down below. If you have any crazy contraptions you'd love to see, let me know because I'd love to build them. And here we go. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Oh, 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 crash. Oh, 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 really? <laughs> Alright, have a great day, folks. My name's Crash, and I'm out!